You'll always use your pressure pan with the blower door depressurizing the house to negative 50 pascals. If you only have one gauge, you can detach the data cable and then use the manual dial to get the fan up to speed. This steady green status light shows that the fan is getting a signal from the gauge. And if we turn the manual dial, nothing happens. However, when we unplug the data cable, now we can see this status light start to blink, which means it's no longer receiving that signal coming in from the gauge. And this unlocks the manual dial. Now we can use this dial to manually set the house to negative 50 pascals so that the fan does not need the gauge to run and it can now be disconnected. Then we can unplug the tubing and the cable from our manometer and then plug it up to the tube that we're gonna use with our pressure pan. Or if you have a second gauge, you can just use that and leave your blower door gauge connected. You'll connect a blue tube to the pressure pan and then the other end to the blue port on your gauge with channel A reading pascals. It doesn't matter what device you have selected, whether it's a fan or a flow box like you see here, as long as the gauge is set to read pascals on channel A, that's all you need to run a pressure pan. And then you'll cover whatever penetration that you're measuring like so. So here we're covering a switch box and we can see that we have a pressure differential of about 0.6 to 0.7 pascals. So here we'll cover another one on a different wall and we can see our leakage is quite a bit higher. So that's essentially what we're doing here with the pressure pan is we're looking for anomalies. We wanna see what walls are gonna have the highest leakage and that'll help us hunt down where the biggest problems are in the building envelope. You can test any type of penetration in the building envelope, uh, whether if it's in the walls, ceiling, or floor. So that includes can lights or receptacles like you see that we're testing here uh, on this wall. This one is especially leaky. We can see that this one is a lot higher than the other two that we just tested. So maybe this is an area that we wanna focus on. Maybe we're getting more leakage in uh, at a top plate from the attic or maybe from the crawl space below. You can also use the pressure pan and blower door to help you locate duct leakage. You can put it over supplies and returns and anywhere you see a larger pressure differential compared to others, that'll help you locate which branches are leakier than others. You can use a painter's extension pole like you see here to reach high areas up in the ceiling. We also make a larger 24 by 24 inch pressure pan to measure around larger returns if you're looking for leakage there. It has two handles that you can attach two extension poles to to brace it between the ceiling and the floor for returns in the ceiling. 